What's up guys, day two. Good morning, well good afternoon because we slept in. Yeah, true mannequin sleeps in. <laughs> and look, I'm just, I'm just depleted from this trip already. So I'm glad that Rachel's on the same uh, sleep. Jet lag sleep Yeah, she's pattern. jet lagged, but I'm not jet lagged, I'm just tired. We're actually going to try some Filipino food today. Yeah, Filipino food in Milan. Let's see, uh, let's check it out. It's called Commissary Kitchen. And then they'll ask Rachel if she speaks Tagalog and she'll be like, no, but I'm Filipino. <laughs> I'll be really disappointed. <laughs> As usual. I'll do all the Filipino speaking. She'll do all the Italian. See you guys there. So this Filipino restaurant is uh, off Lambrate Station. So kakain kami at si Rachel mga Filipino pagkain. Yeah, what he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bam. Oh, they got sisig. They got seafood sisig. They got kare kare here. I didn't even eat that when I was back home with my mom, so let's go. So getting it. Going down to the cave. You already know it's lit when Bruno Mars is playing and that Versace on the floor is going on. So if you're visiting Milan or if you're Filipino in Milan, they have acoustic nights here on Wednesdays. So check it out. Try not the barbecue. I've been eating Italian food for the last week and a half, so it's actually a nice change to have some Filipino food. Thumbs up, for sure. Here comes the seasick. Salamat. There's the seasick right there, guys. Check that out. Really, really good. A curry curry is super creamy. Mm. Reminds you at home? Yes. <laughs> Delicious. This is the sizzling seasick. When I get back to San Diego, I'm gonna do a barbecue vlog with Mari because he makes some of the best barbecue too. He, his, he makes like a spicy barbecue sauce with his... Beat, nothing beats it, but this is pretty good though. I'm trying some of Rachel's curry curry. It's got that peanut buttery taste to it. You guys know I'm really picky with my food. Curry curry is definitely not on my palate, but for my cousin, it's hers. But I'm sure a lot of you guys like curry curry too. I'm a big seasick person, so. I was saying to JJ that I ate my plate too fast without showing it. But I thought it was interesting that um, they put the bagoong on top instead of on the side. And then like all the ingredients are like equally separated on the plate, so you kind of have to mix everything before you eat it. But it was delicious. I love kare kare. Don't usually drink soda, but sometimes I drink Fanta. It came with the meal, so. Alright guys, now it's time for the main dish, the sizzling sisig. I got an egg on it and they made it spicy for me. Looks like there's corn, carrots, peas, and like a special type of uh, rice. It's like garlicky. You good? Mmm. It's It's a little spicy. Not too spicy, but a little. They even have like the chicharron uh, crumb, crumbs here. Masara. Since it's breakfast time right now, well it's lunch time technically, I got an egg. I just woke up, I woke up at like 10.30. Five minutes later, done. Sizzik was good. On the sizzling level, it was around the seven. Like, I mean, just like pure sizzle on the plate. Because it, it was sizzling, but not that much. I've seen my sizzik sizzle a lot in the past. That's what she said. But it's still good. So the kare kare. I thought it was super good. If I had to rate it from like 1 to 10, I'd probably give it like a 7. I liked it a lot. I would have put more tripe in it. <laughs> I know it's not for everyone, but I really love tripe in my kare kare. The sauce was really good. You could really taste the peanut butter and it was super creamy. Yeah, everything else was pretty delicious. The bagoo was really good. I had a bite of the sea stick. I thought it was really good. I'd probably give it like an 8-ish. Yeah, it was really flavorful. And I like how um, they added like a lot of spice to it. So you got that good like contrast between uh, spicy and sour taste. Back to your regularly scheduled Italian food vlogs. February 24th, this guy Michael Pangolinan is coming to Milan. 
never heard of him. If uh, any of my Filipino viewers are watching right now, comment below, let me know. Who is he? Is he a singer, guitarist? I don't know, I, I just don't know. I'm not really that hip to it. That was Commissary Kitchen, Filipino restaurant here in Milan. It's not very far from Rachel's place. We're gonna head back to her spot right now. Just wanna talk about the Filipinos that are living here in Milan. There are a ton of them, a ton of OFWs. I'm sure a lot of them know about this place. It looks pretty new, um, it's pretty good. There's a lot more restaurants in uh, Barcelona that are Filipino, but there's quite a few here too, but this was the best that I saw on TripAdvisor. We've seen Filipinos in Florence, Milan, a little bit in Venice. I don't think there's that many in Venice, but there are. OFWs everywhere. I mean, we saw them in Austria, Barcelona, Madrid. See them all over the world. All right, guys, so we're gonna close out the vlog. That was Filipino food in Milan. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, like, I know I always try out like the same stuff, the seasig, the sizzling seasig, and the barbecue, but that's my favorite Filipino food. Um, but they do have like sinagang, dinagdakan, adobo, um, lumpia, lumpia, nilaga, they have a lot of stuff there. So. everything. If you're in Milan and you're looking for Filipino food, check out Commissary Kitchen. See you in the next vlog. Peace. Bye. Let's take our time.